Today I'm going to talk about how to increase energy levels and improve your recovery if you have hypothyroidism. Now if you don't have hypothyroidism, this is still helpful to you. It'll still help you especially if you have a lot of stubborn body fat that you've been trying to lose. But especially those people with hypothyroidism need to take note to this. So your second meal of the day, I didn't say lunch, I said your second meal. Have a leafy, green, multicolored, cruciferous, fibrous, big bowl of salad. With that, have a healthy protein source that's a fatty, healthy protein source. Let me give you two examples, wild salmon and grass-fed beef. Either 4% lean, I wouldn't go more than 10% lean. Go for grass-fed beef. What if I can't find grass-fed beef? You'll survive. That's still okay. If you have to have a chicken breast, if you have to have a piece of, of tuna or some other fat-free protein source, then definitely be sure to add a tablespoon of olive oil to the salad. You don't need three tablespoons, or you can add one quarter of an avocado. You don't need a whole avocado. You really don't need half. And that's going to do two things for you. Number one, it's going to stabilize your blood sugar levels. And by doing that, it's going to drive down cravings and hunger. And number two, which feeds off number one, is it's going to provide a tremendous amount of satiety. And it's going to sustain you from an energy level standpoint, surprisingly enough. The problem is, and where people go wrong, is they'll have a piece of chicken and salad, but they don't add the fat source. You gotta add the fat source, or they'll add too much of the wrong fat source, like salad dressing. So, that's my key, which I want you to follow, plug in, use it to get successful, and click on this interview I did right here with Candace, who lost 47 pounds of body fat over a six month period and she had Hashimoto's. Check that out. Thanks guys. WetWolfTraining.com, signing out.